Hey, welcome to this new short tutorial on UDIMS. There um, has something slightly changed in the past or the map ID um, tag for using UDIMS. This has slightly changed and I will show you in this tutorial how you gonna make or how you use um, UDIMS. So as I have mentioned uh, in the introduction in the past, um, every random end user had to use the so-called underscore map ID underscore tag in order to make UDIMS work. So for 1001 you, you had to use underscore map ID underscore. But this has changed to uh, now the tag brackets and then the UDIMS. So this is the correct way to exchange the 1001 for using UDIMS. And this applies also for Blender. So um, as you can see, I will start the render process. And here you see um, the UDIMS are working nicely. And when I move over to, um, to Blender, uh, it's exactly the same. So I have exported this butterfly without the hairs to Blender. And yeah, with the object merge. And when I open Blender again, so here we have it. I already uh, assigned the shader and prepared the file, but as you can see, um, when we go up, this is essentially the same shader like uh, the Houdini shader. I only have X changed. Um, the shader with the preset browser. And here you can see it's exactly the same. For UDIM, for the 1001, you use this tag and it should work. So I will start the IPR and the butterfly should come to life. So as you can see, it's working. So all shaders, all textures are loaded. And yeah, of course you can edit um, the texture entries and you can also now define the um, texture space. So as a slightly addition to that, maybe some of you have problems with the, um, with the OCOI um, settings. In order to make the OCOI working, for Linux, this is quite easy. You go to your um, installation folder of your uh, Renderman Pro server installation. And when you dive down to, I guess it was in library. Yeah, in library to OCOI, you got a new folder called ACES 1.2. So what I did essentially is I have copy and paste this folder to my own folder. I made this um, only because um, Linux will crash on startup when this folder doesn't exist. But in order to make this work, you have to load the OCOI settings within your environment variable. And yeah, th that's the reason I copied to a safe location to my home folder in order to prevent any disruption. In case I update, um, in case I update uh, the Renderman installation, or yeah, maybe um, Renderman is or the system is not having total access on startup to this folder because this is a restricted folder. So I have copy paste this folder. Of course, you can also directly guide the path to it. And then I move to the environment variable. It's more or less the same like on Windows, uh, but on Windows you have the environment um, settings. And in my case, I created a new environment variable called OCOI and then the path. Nothing special. You um, link directly to the OCOI file 
And then when you restart your system, it's highly important to restart your system, you will be able to have this drop down menu. So I hope um, this slightly small tutorial will help you through using UDIMS as well as the color space drop down menu for a full ASUS CG pipeline. And keep in mind this color space tag doesn't mean that you convert it to sRGB texture. It reflects or resembles the origin of your texture. So when your origin is sRGB, you choose the sRGB texture, which is essentially um, a non ASUS CG um, texture space. Of course, you can also um, choose linear or data. Data um, is, when not uh, remember uh, wrong, um, raw, essentially just a raw format. Or when your texture is already converted to ACES, you can leave it as empty. So, but this would mean you have to pre convert your textures in new Fusion or um, Houdini Cops. So, yeah, I hope this helps you. And yeah, more videos and tutorials will come soon. I wish everyone a nice day. Bye.